of Bros are back with another challenge. This time around 1943 UK. This will give us uh well let's give us two of four for the allies. So we're going instant um D-Day. I just need to get all our navy in the channel, take care of donuts, take care of these subs. And I think we could probably handle the African Corps with just what we got. Because, I mean, we got Mani down there. I think Mani... Mani can 1v1 Rommel, no problem. And we'll worry about the Italians later. We just want to take out the Germans. And then... In the East. You know, we just take a few things and just hold and wait until we got some money all our expenditures are going to be going to defeating Germany yeah good job France <laughs> threw that one guy out there in the middle of the, in the entire Africa Corps I mean right up on their front line here take that Okay, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna throw down some super heavies. I know some of them are gonna come off London, if not all of them. Pretty demolished. If they're above half health, when the next round starts, we'll put a general on them. If it's below half, I'm not even gonna bother putting a general on. Uh, I guess we're almost just going to sit there for a while. See what his Africa Corps can do before he rolls out. So I'm thinking we can... We can probably take Bangkok, Hanoi pretty easy. Um, Singapore pretty easy. We'll just do that with maybe... Yeah, we'll send something down there. And then just if something comes open, we take it pretty much. I think that's how we're going to play that area. Hey! He's got a lot of health on him. I didn't expect that. I thought for sure he'd get missiled by Goring. Hopefully I can keep our aircraft carriers alive. They can help out. Before the Germans start spamming. Now we, when we played with, um, oh, what country did we play with? And the Germans had taken Moscow. I, just, I play with so many freaking countries. I can't remember from one country to the next what happened. Yeah, but I expect you know, Germany to take Moscow. No German dance crew. All right, we got it. Nice. Boom, what Thailand goes down. So, um... Oh, uh, we got Rommel incoming, maybe. Let's take it on the French, bro. I got, um... I got my naval tech up to, I think... 11 or 12 now it was seriously it, it was seriously uh, un underrepresented it was pretty low for a long time there are those countries where I mean you're gonna need them you're gonna need some upgraded tech on your navy I could have used it Playing with, you know, Australia and Japan. Oh, and somebody in the comments said it goes to the same level as um, the infantry, the artillery, and the tank. So it'll end up with 
what the the two extra movement or is it four? Shit, I can't even remember. That extra movement and 22 attack. When it's finally maxed. Which is amazing. The navy always moves slow as shit. We're having pretty good luck putting down super heavies. ass in Africa. That's a pretty good start. Of course, we got to deal with Rommel. Well, yep, he's coming in on us. All right, we've got a Munstein landing. He begins his journey with almost full health lands with less than half. Almost starts his journey with a quarter of his health mi missing already, so that's cool. I thought it was going to be worse than that. I thought they were going to missile every time we put something down. There we go. And pretty soon. I don't want to I don't want to give it away. But the, the Goring goes down on Paris. So, nice exchange from Mani on Rommel. Nice. Damn, we rolled the Africa Corps. We got shit on. Alright, so I think from here on out, maybe a few strafing runs on, say... Um... Like Singapore, we could take that probably with not very much money invested. And then anything else, we just chill. If it opens, it opens. We have finally won the naval. The naval battle for the English Channel. It's over. We can get started. On the Spanish fleet. Damn, we absolutely destroyed the Africa Corps. Damn, the Italians have a lot of troops in the Mediterranean. We'll move our generals to the north, I guess. We don't need them where we're at anymore. I mean, maybe they can help open something up. Ah, shit, I don't know. Hey, so far this has been silk. Well, except for Gudarian. Holy crap. What the hell happened to you? Shit, now Rommel. They are just absolutely... Chewing up of my generals. And you know who it is. It's freaking Goring. I'm gonna go Goring versus Goring. Who is the real Goring? The one that can eat the most. Take him to a buffet. Whoever out, out eats the other one is the true Goring. There we go. <coughs> oh, man. And Guderian is gone. But so is Garn. That's a trade-off I'll take. It's like a daring Garning trade-off. Oh, yeah, mouse tank. I like how those level two industrials can um, produce mouse tanks. Wish mine could do that. 
you know, the smaller one-star countries that I take 20 minutes just getting to a high-tier city where I can build a mouse tank. Who knew I could just build them out of level two industrials? It's sweet. All right, well, I guess Rommel's leading the charge on Berlin now. Guderian got absolutely demolished. I mean, Garin, you... I was gonna say, you, you better take Berlin. You get one more missile, you're done. Damn, I guess we're having a, a, a secondary landing. Graziani coming in. I thought it was over, but shit, they're sending in a whole nother army. Uh, we can grab that right back. Shit, they're landing troops all along the north. In Egypt, too. Interesting. I don't remember that happening. Uh, I guess I do. Yeah, because Italy always takes out Egypt. Alright, there we go. We should be able to hold Berlin from here on out. Yeah, I don't... I don't want Graziani landing. Imagine fearing Graziani. <clears throat> that would have never happened back in the day. That would have never happened. Non-challenge mode. Brave French bro going right into the Italians. Well, we get what? How many <clears throat> How many generals? We get one more. Rokosovsky will send him. Shit. Maybe into his homeland. Damn, Spain's pretty much unguarded. Mediterranean. I knew they'd leave that back open again. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for my Chinese allies to weaken them, and then we'll move in. Brave Piton. Taking on the entire um, Abyssinian army. Abyssinian bros. I need to move, uh, going to Berlin. There's a lot of artillery. Put him on Berlin and go off with the strafing runs. Yeah, they're gonna take that back every single time, I guess.
Oh! Bro! Now he's taking off. Well done, quarter health Monstein. Boom, a Spain goes down. Damn, bro, it's pretty good. Not good enough. I guess I never pay attention to how many units they send through the Mediterranean to go to North Africa. I mean, as long as we hold one airfield, that's really all we need. Just one airfield. Yeah, I don't remember seeing that type of North African landing coming out of the uh, Axis. Guess I never paid attention. See, that's what we needed. I mean, I think Europe's going to be silky smooth and the only thing that could cause the Asian conquest to not be is if they took all our airfields. As long as we have one, it's still silky smooth. So, bros, after this, you know that we've got to go back to the Axis. Spain. Spain or Italy. And I'm looking forward to neither. Oh, damn. That was close. Wow, that was close. We almost screwed that up. What if I didn't have those two generals take Hong Kong at that exact moment? We, we would have had no airfield left. Then it would have went from silky smooth to 80 grit sandpaper. We're gonna move a little bit faster guys once we got Berlin I thought it was gonna pick up oh my god yeah they're going on they're going on Moscow pretty hard come on boys pick it up God, playing with Italy or Spain is going to suck. The time it's going to take. I mean, they're holding. They got Moscow held so far. They got Vasily on it. Did I just see 11 damage from... 11 damage? Is that all he could put out? Brave French bros helping us out. I 
wonder if you could have... I probably only needed... No, I would have needed three. I was going to say, I wonder if you could hold off putting down the super heavies with the generals. Save a little bit of health on them. I don't say we needed two, but the second one we put down was Guderian and he got wrecked. So we actually did need three. <laughs> if you're gonna leave that that close to open, I'm gonna take that every time. I kind of thought this was going to be a little bit quicker once we grab the land. Still going pretty damn slow. The power of the Goring completely changes the landscape. I'd like to get him moved. There's there's a bunch of uh there's a bunch of artillery further east. That a goring on Warsaw could take care of. He finally landed! Many goes down and the French bros give up their attack on Italy. They are taking off. They've seen enough. That's going to take way too much. I think our Chinese bros are going to start putting in some work. I mean, we were looking at pretty much half Navy, half land units from the Japanese. I think, I think the Chinese got them now. Boom! Hungary goes down. I mean, look, Rome, level three industrial. So what does that mean for us? When we play with Italy. It means it's going to take a long time. Not to mention the Germans already have uh, Paris. And we know that... We know from playing Japan that they don't... Apparently they don't give it back up. The UK never takes it back. Which means I wouldn't have that... Oh, that sucked. Playing with Japan, trying to get a landing there, and the the Germans were doing shit. Yeah, we're going to have to think of a plan for Italy. I don't look forward to it. We're just about to the point where we can start dumping money into Asia. Oh, I spoke too soon. The French are back in it. They just had to regroup. They just had to get their poop in a group. No, they did take Moscow. That looks like something's going to happen every time. I mean, if it can happen now after I completely weaken them, yeah, it's going to happen every single time in 43. I believe Rome is not a level four. And I don't think in challenge mode, I remember back in the, like the old school days playing the regular, like I would go ahead and put some generals on some heavies. I don't think you can do
do that in the challenge mode though. They would just get destroyed. Holy Aust Australian army going in there. They're so busy defending against the Chinese and us that they just let the US and apparently Canada take Tokyo and the Australians come in. Boom! Off Finland goes down nice. Let us get ready to grab Moscow. The French bros held, they stopped all those landings. Bulgaria goes down noise. We're getting close to a wrap. We got Tokyo missile technologies. And we're pretty much done here. Um So Athens should be... No. Oh, really? Wow. Boom! Germany goes down noise. Yeah, well... Maybe a little bit of money thrown at the Italians and everything else goes to defeating Japan. It's nice to see the French down there helping though. So, Italy, maybe two more rounds. Maybe three. You know what? If we played this a little, I mean, let's think here. We could have got the 25 on this. We definitely could have got 25 or below on this. If it was a little bit smoother. But it already was silky smooth. How could I make it any smoother? Yeah, how could I make it smoother? How can you make it smoother than silky smooth? Boom! Italy goes down! My French allies doing work. 27. Yeah, I think we could have got the 25 pretty easy. I know, I'm trying to think what I could have done different, though. Hmm. How could I have gained back those few rounds? I don't know. don't know how I would have got those rounds back. One shot this and we're done. Damn it. Boom! A 27 rounds. Not bad, bros. Yep. Bros, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Sub, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll be back for our next upload. Peace. Brewing out.